the three main oceans, Atlantic, Pacific and Indian, are each made up of different water masses. Throughout this section, I will list the different water masses in each ocean and describe the main water masses that occur in each ocean type. The Atlantic Ocean is made of the North Atlantic Central Water, South Atlantic Central Water, Antarctic Intermediate Water, Arctic Intermediate Water, North Atlantic Deep Water, North Atlantic Bottom Water, Antarctic Bottom Water, Antarctic Deep Water, and the Mediterranean Intermediate Water. The Pacific Ocean is made up of the South Pacific Central Water, North Pacific Central Water, Antarctic Intermediate Water, North Pacific Intermediate Water, Common Water, and Pacific Subarctic Water. The Indian Ocean is made up of the South Indian Central Water, Equatorial Central Water, Antarctic Intermediate Water, Common Water, and the Red Sea Intermediate Water. The North Atlantic Deep Water is a major component of the thermohaline circulation. This water mass is formed in the Gin Seas. The Gin Seas are the Greenland, Iceland and Norwegian Seas. It has a temperature of around 2.4 degrees Celsius and a relatively high salinity of 34.9. It is also high in oxygen. It is formed by cold winds from North Canada, significant winter cooling, evaporation and deep convection. It is the most common water type in the Atlantic Ocean. The Antarctic bottom water is formed in the Weddell and the Ross Sea. This water is formed by very cold surface water mixing with saline Antarctic circumpolar water. This bottom water is the densest water in the free ocean. It has a temperature of half degree Celsius and a salinity of 34.65. This water appears in the Indian, Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. This is due to the connection of the Antarctic circumpolar current. It is the most common water mass. The Antarctic intermediate water subducts along the polar front. It is formed by convective mixing, a process of deeper and surface water of Atlantic divergence. The key property of this water is that it has a subsurface salinity minimum, an oxygen maximum. The central water forms around areas of low and high pressure. Water flows from high to low pressure and curves due to Coriolis. In the southern hemisphere it is deflected towards the left and to the right in the northern hemisphere. The water gets pushed into the center of the curves and the water has to go somewhere. The water gets pushed down into the doldrums, the quiet wind regions. For water in the ocean is not a stationary body of water. The ocean water is transported around the globe by the Great Ocean Conveyor Belt. The Great Ocean Conveyor Belt is caused by a combination of thermohaline currents within the deep ocean and also wind-driven currents on the surface. Thermo meaning temperature and haline meaning salinity. It all begins when warm water near the surface moves towards the North Pole near Iceland. As this water cools, some of it freezes and evaporates, creating the water to become quite saline. It becomes denser and sinks. This water is known as the North Atlantic Deep Water. This water travels south, where it comes in contact with Antarctic bottom water. The North Atlantic Deep Water eventually reaches Antarctica. Once there, the current splits, one branch of the current moves towards the Indian Ocean and the other travels along Antarctica and into the Pacific Ocean. These branches eventually become warmer and move back towards the surface. The branch that travelled through the Pacific Ocean then moves west and meets back up with the Indian Ocean branch. These branches then continue along the Atlantic Ocean and head back towards the North Pole, where they repeat the process like a conveyor belt. This cycle usually takes between 1,000 to 1,500 years.